Hello and welcome to the part number 31 of the Note Editor tutorial series. My name is Pavel Krupla from BlenderFig.com and in this part we are going to refactor the skins and style sheets used in our Qt application in our examples and as a gift for me here you go, here is a dark skin. So we are going to use a dark skin for our calculator example and that's gonna be awesome. So this skin was written in the Qt skin generator the link is going to be in the description. You can check it out and you can try out to get with your own skin if you want. So let's start coding. And let's talk about the styling itself. We got previously created a default QSS style here, which is currently not even working at all. It's not loading up because we are trying to load QSS node style from some different directory and it's not found and therefore we are going to fix that here in our previous example and even set up a new skin for the calculator we are writing. So in the first place, uh, needless to know, if you do set style sheet Q application instance set style sheet and set up some QSS style and then you try to do that again additively with a new file, it's not gonna work at all. It's gonna rename or reset the styling for the whole application. So therefore it doesn't need to be in the node editor widget and it shouldn't be there at all because otherwise you will rewrite all of the skins you are using in your application. So the correct place is somewhere in the main, not even in the in the node editor window, but maybe we can use the overridden window here in our example. So therefore I'm going to cut this function here and we are going to move that into the utils like this. And here we don't know bunch of things. So from pyqt5 qt core import everything and from pyqt5 qt widgets import star again so this way we moved the function load style sheet here and let's go ahead to our node editor widget which is here and we don't need this one here anymore so I'm going to cut this line here and I'm going, going to delete everything which is inside here. So let's go up to the example test and the main function which is gonna be here. And here is the style sheet file name which is gonna be still the QSS node style. But we do wanna use the node editor QSS node style which is here, located here, and we are running somewhere from a different directory. But there is a function or module in Python where we can inspect where are the classes stored in the files. So we can retrieve the file name of one of these classes here and go to the QSS and whatever else we want to do. So the way how we are going to use that or do that is by using import inspect and we are instantiating the class node editor window here. So the way how to ask for the class name itself is we can go to the instance and do underscore underscore class and this will return us the name of this class and when we are going to use inspect.getfile we can retrieve the file name where the node editor window class is being stored so therefore it's gonna show us this directory here so if we are going to import os and we will just retrieve the module path or the module directory 
to be precise, we can say ospath.dearName and pass in this file where the node editor class is being defined. So this is here. We are going to retrieve the node editor wherever it's going to be installed. So therefore, we want this stylesheet file name to be os.path.join and we are going to join the module path with the QSS node style. And we don't need actually to have a variable here. We can just call load stylesheet and pass it directly to this function. This function, we just copy that to from node editor to the utils import load style sheet. So let's try this example right now. Let's press play. And as you can see, our old example is actually loading the wherever is going to be stored QSS node style QSS. Just to be precise, this one, this slash is working. Maybe in your case it won't be working, I don't know. For that you can use OSPath join again or something like OSPath separator or directory separator. There is a variable depending on your file system you are using containing the forward slash or the backslash and you can do that this way. But I will keep it like this because it kind of works and it should be working at the later Windows operation systems also, but mainly this one works for Mac OS and Linux perfectly. So this way we cleaned up our widget and window doesn't contain any information about the style sheets, which is pretty awesome. So let's talk briefly about the calculator example. And I kind of don't like this uh, default skin at all. So the way how the skinning works in uh, Qt5 is pretty simple. You can use uh, in C++ code predefined styles as a default, which you are going to extend. So therefore, when I go to main, right here in the application, you can say something like app.setStyle and here is the name of the style you are going to or willing to use. So let me just comment it for now and print out qStyleFactory.keys and let's run this application and as you can see currently in this installation of Qt5 there is available skin called Windows Vista, Windows and Fusion. I am definitely gonna go uh, and use the Fusion one. When we set up the style with Fusion like this then you can see it has changed a little bit. So file new as you can see we got different tabs here which is awesome but they are ugly I believe and I don't want to like uh, to have a look all the time at the light skinning so I went a little bit ahead and I created a new QSS style which is here the source was written in stylus this is the builded QSS style which was built in Qt skin generator which I wrote a while ago and it's available for free for everyone so you can go ahead and download it. Uh, the application, we will use that in some later video when we are going to style our nodes uh, in, the, in our example, in the calculator. It works like this. You got a grunt operation, which is Node.js uh, plugin, running on the background, checking all of the, your source files you are writing, and you are writing them in stylus. Once you save it, the change is going to be detected and all of the files will be converted to one single QSS file and compiled all together. It fixes up every problem 
the somehow broken implementation of the CSS in Qt works. So you will be now allowed to use functions, variables, overriding, extending, etc. But in our case, I do want to keep this one untagged and I just want to have another separate QSS style in a separate file. So let's create a new file here, call that node editor dot qss I'm gonna paste it here and I do want to load both of the qss files here in our calculator example and use all of them together in some later video we are going to generate this with the qt skin generator so therefore I do want to keep that separately but as I said before you are unable to load both of them additively therefore we are going back to the utils I'm going to copy this function and create new load style sheets and here we are going to pass multiple file names so let's call that arcs with a star so the resulting skin is gonna be for now empty and for each argument in arcs we are going to do file open now we are going to change this to argument the file open will be open for read only and the text style sheet is gonna be file read all and the result is gonna be new empty line plus the string style sheet with encoding utf8 which is this line of code here so we could just copy that but anyways and then once we load every single style sheet we provided to this function we are going to call q application instance set style sheet and the result of our operation so this function let's copy the name and go ahead to the calculator window and we can do that here i will define a new variable for the style sheet for the node editor this one because we are going to copy paste the live reload code which I wrote for the Qt skin generator inside our application so we can style it in the runtime when the application will be running later so let's define self style sheet file name and that's gonna be os.path.join we don't know the os again so import os and we do wanna join the directory which we are currently in in this window in this file so os.path.dirname of current file that's the python file here and we do wanna join qss slash node editor dot qss like this this is gonna be the file name we will later reload when the application will be running but for now we can import from node editor .utils, import load style sheets and let's do load style sheets and the argument here will be first of all I'm going to copy this one and the example provided here is node editor dark dot qss and the second file name I want to use is self dot style sheet underscore file name like this one and because we are referencing to few images there I'm going also here and import examples dot example calculator dot qss dot 
node editor dark resources images for the dark skin but before i run the application i do want to remove this print so it was in the example calculator main here is the print statement so let's comment it out i can close it now and fingers crossed when i press play we got an awesome dark skin perfect so if i do file new you can see these are the tabs there is a small highlight there and i guess it's much more easier to the eyes and it looks much more beautiful so this is gonna be it for this part thank you for watching and see you at the next part